Hey everybody, thought I'd pop in and say hi. Me and Mr. Buddy, if you can believe that. What a sweet boy. I just wanted to come and give you an update. As you can hear, my voice is effed up. <clears throat> I have to be honest with you guys, this cancer is uh, kicking my ass. Um, very weak. I've lost the use mostly of my right hand and arm, and it came on so quickly. I lost my right hand. The use of my speech, kind of, but uh, five different things on my left side, starting with my, I want to say, left hand, work your way around. Finally got my feeling back, my speech back. <laughs> But I had to have my hands strapped down because I was a raving lunatic for almost five days and I don't remember any of it. And I have to go back in for surgery in two or three days, I believe it is. I'll keep you posted on that, but it's another brain surgery. You know, how many... How many people are having brain surgery these days? This is a good one. Could give me... And I can't say numbers. After this last surgery, guys, my last episode, as as it were, I lost the ability to speak clearly, speak sentences, use numbers correctly. It's scary. I went from being at least slightly above normal with numbers and things like that to like a dumbass. I can't say numbers. I can't do math in my head anymore. It's scary. And then we just had a episode earlier this week where I really realized how bad this has effed me up where I can't use my right side. And I was right-handed. I can't write. Can't think worth a damn anymore. Slowly getting worse. This next surgery, fingers crossed, will help bring me back to more normal. We don't know, but we have fingers crossed. And this could buy me quite a bit more time. Without the surgery, I'm a goner. So, we've already, we've, I've already passed my life's expectation with this disease. Because I'm going on, it's been, I'll have to have Tracy do an update. Like I said, I can't do numbers. It's been, it's been a month plus four Four weeks? Yep, something like that. And that's how hard that was for me to spit out. A month plus four going on five weeks. So I'm above average in the time I've lived. So I'm grateful for what I've got. And I can still walk. I can still talk. It's just I can't write. Speech is a little difficult. I repeat myself a lot. You may notice that. So, and I have to go, this is a repeat, today is what, whatever day it is, I go in for another surgery, I believe in three or four days, another brain surgery, so I will definitely keep you guys posted on that one, I'm sorry to keep you hanging, this is just a fucked up time for me that's all I can say <laughs> I have no good way to say it there's nothing good about this research glioblastoma guys if you haven't I beg you to research it just research brain cancer it's just there's a girl on Facebook and I can't think of her name right now but she's wonderful She's a hospice nurse. She shares what she does. 
and it's really really interesting to someone like me that has a terminal that terminal cancer it's very helpful it helps me understand helps other people understand it's very very helpful and I also have Mr. Uh, Topaz over here Miss Topaz I should say where'd you go kitty it's hard to find a cat in this thing She's right there somewhere behind that red blanket. There, I think. No, that's my hand. I'm sorry, guys, this is screwed up. She's right there somewhere, but she's been my companion buddy through this thing, too. And so has he. So has Miss Topaz over here. Maybe she left now. The weird part about this is I'm like, I'm not super weak, but I did lose the use of everything on my my right hand. If you were to see video of me, my right side actually looks fantastic. It looks like I'm in really, really good shape. But if you look at the flab on my right hand and arm, it's horrible because I haven't been using the muscle. In my right side, so I lost all of that where my right side was my more muscular side. So it's not dropped off as much. I'm sorry, my left side, though, has gotten really saggy and it sucks. So, and it's scary, you know, to wake up every morning not knowing what the day holds, what's going to happen. We have high hopes that this next surgery will buy me another month I believe they said hopefully I think that's wrong too I don't think that's enough time anyways I'll keep you posted I'll have Tracy do an update so but thanks for checking in with us guys I know you were wondering and this is the best way to get any information out to you guys where'd you go Topaz There's a kitty. There's another kitty. And that's not Topaz. <laughs> There's another mine fart. I can't remember my cat's name. So, Alright guys, I'll check in with you later. Alright guys, I'm back. No, I got Mr. Gizmo. <laughs> and Miss Tracy's hiding over here. So we wanted to just follow up with what I tried to do and let her talk a little bit and explain it a little better. Um, we don't have nothing concrete like I was trying to say. We just have a rough estimate. Okay. Mike goes in for surgery Thursday morning. It is laser-guided MRI. MRI-guided laser surgery. Um. He's basically going to have his head in one of those big metal cage things to hold it steady. And they make a like half inch incision in his scalp and drill a very tiny hole. And they run a wire in using the MRI's guide and they fry the tumor, basically. Um, we dropped you. Mr. Miss Topaz. Mr. Ozzy. There's Miss Topaz. Oh, okay. But, so it's... I have no idea how long the surgery takes. Um, I have no idea what time he has to be there on Thursday, but the doctor did say that he likes to get these out of the way first thing in the morning. So, I'm sure that means we're going to have to leave at some ungodly hour on Thursday morning. But Mike will be spending the night in the hospital, for sure. And I will uh, get on there with his phone, and I will update you guys as soon as I hear anything further on Thursday. Oh yeah, my brain is so scrambled right now. I couldn't even. I couldn't even have just said what she did. So and it's scary, but hopefully the surgery will straighten me out for a while. At least help. Yep. We're 
because today has been a rough day because we had not, I couldn't get the, whatchamacallit to work today. The stove? The stove, yeah. Well, it, it, just it worked. To go on high. It worked. It worked. It just wouldn't shut off, apparently. You know, it just the, stayed the, on high and it was blazing. I've been having trouble with that burner for a couple of years. I've had to replace that burner twice. And this time I was like, F that, because it just went straight to high. Yep, that's all it does. It, it's like high or off. That, that's my two choices on that burner, and I hate it. Oh, hopefully. I should be able to fix it. I'm not dumb yet. It's not complicated. It's an older stove. It's not like high tech digital, nothing like that. So, guys, he's not stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's, you know, the. Everything that he's going through, this is no fault of his own that, you know, he's losing his memory and everything else. It's frustrating as all hell, but it's not his fault. But, yeah, so surgery, we, we will know more. They're supposed to call within two to four days before the surgery. And four days before the surgery, it's tomorrow, which is Sunday. So they should be calling probably Monday or Tuesday to tell us. When we have to be there, they already sent the packet in the mail, you know, with, you know, shower, no hairspray, no, you know, blah, 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 blah. He's been cleared for surgery by his regular doctor. Um, this, this seems like every day it gets bumped another day, another day. And that's just it's me. Not. It's just me. It's not. It's been the 15th. It has never changed. It is the 15th. It's this coming Thursday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days from now. So remember that, guys. You'll know where we're going to be that day. Thursday. And Keep us in our thoughts. Yeah. It's... That's all we can ask. So... And as I said, I will update you guys as soon as I know. Thanks for coming and seeing us again. We'll talk to you soon.